growing up in Haiti, being both Haitian and Guyanese, was probably why I even got into music in the first place, because my, my mom played piano and violin, put me into lessons early, and then my dad was a producer in Haiti, and so we had a studio at the house, and I thought that was normal until I got older and I realized like that's not really common. Um, but my mom listened to so much music, mostly in English, and uh, stuff from the 70s and the 80s, uh, and then my dad listened to a lot of mixture of Haitian music uh, in Creole, but also like new age 80s stuff, so their, their taste was very complimentary, and I think that it just informed my decisions and how I wanted to to like make music in the future. Like, like you said, Caribbean parents are very much, there's a couple of different careers that you can have. Um, and in the beginning, I, it wasn't really pressure from them actually to be a doctor. I, I wanted to be a doctor since my earliest memory as a kid. And the main reason was because I grew up in Haiti and Port-au-Prince and there was a lot of need everywhere. And so I felt like I wanted to be as positive force as possible in my community. And in the beginning it was being a doctor. And so I just looked at the jobs and I was like, I like the idea of being a pediatrician. I want to be able to help kids. And, and I, I was good at school. So I did that for years. And then music came up naturally as a hobby. Um, and then it was probably when I was like 15 or 16 that I started DJing. And around the same time, I started producing. So that by the time I was in college and I was a pre-med major, biology major, I had a full ride uh, at Davidson in North Carolina. I, my, my music had started becoming uh, kind of like a, a career without me trying. Like it was something that I did as out of passion and then uh, a couple songs went viral and that brought up label offers, management offers. And it was, uh, it was kind of intimidating actually because it was like, now I have to decide between these two very different career paths and I'm really grateful that uh, in that moment my school was really supportive, my family was really supportive, my friends were supportive and um, I, I think that attributed to how I even got into this. I now started a, a new project called Bayou. Um, and bio means to give in Creole. And so I started it with the goal of creating this block party concept where I brought out artists from Haiti, some of my artist friends in different fields and doing a free party for the community. And so we started it in our bidonville, which are like favelas in Port-au-Prince. And it was a very small show in the beginning and it was like 50, 60 people. And now I'm doing shows that are tens of thousands of people in the States and in Europe. and. Um, Canada and so part of that as well is this uh, this music initiative and, and label initiative and publishing and so the first artist signing is an artist called Naika and she is of Haitian descent but she actually grew up all around the world and um, there's a lot more things that I want to be able to work on internationally partially through this block party because not only did we have Haitian artists but I also invited a lot of friends from around the world that I worked with so uh, some of the people that came through in past years, I've had Major Lazer, J Balvin, Wyclef, Mr. Easy, uh, Marshall Montano, uh, Charlie Black. There's been so many artists from all around the world. Part, partially why I'm here in Guyana again is because I really felt like with all the experience I've had, traveling around the world, working on projects around the world as a producer and DJing and the biggest festivals. And uh, I've had a lot of experiences now and I want to be able to work more on projects in Guyana because I know there's the next future superstar waiting to, to come up and I'd, I'd love to be a part of it. Culturally, there's so much beautiful culture in Guyana, just like in Haiti. There's a lot of interesting mixes of sounds, uh, between all of the different uh, people that are represented here, the native sounds, the West African sounds, the Indian sounds, the Asian sounds, like everything in between, like all of these amazing mixes. And I think that that to me is so unique. And that's what makes the prospect of finding more and more artists to work with out here so cool for me. Because I've already worked in Jamaica with some of the biggest Jamaican artists. I've worked in 
Trinidad. I've worked across the Caribbean and Latin America and in uh, Europe with uh, like massive superstars like Ed Sheeran and R&B superstars in the States like Victoria Monet and Maxwell. And so I feel like I've, I've been able to see the best of the best in all of these different scenes. And I know that there's a best of the best in Guyana waiting to come. So that's half my heritage. I'm so proud of being Guyanese as well as being Haitian. And I, I know that there's going to be some amazing stuff to come out of here soon. My, my lifelong goal since I wanted to be a doctor as a little kid was to create as much positive impact in my work and my personal life, like anything I could do that could help build community and hopefully create opportunity for as many people as possible. And I, I think that when I discovered the power of music at a scale, because I think the work that doctors do on an individual scale is absolutely incredible. So I have so much respect for anybody in the medical profession because of how long the hours are and dedication it takes to really care for others. And I think that the beauty with art is that you're able to reach so many people where you don't even need to meet them face to face. They could hear your song, they could have maybe gone to a concert or they haven't even seen you in concert yet, but they, they've interacted with you somehow. And I, I find that if you can create positive impact through art, it, ha it transcends language, it transcends borders, and it can inspire people in ways that nobody can even imagine. And I, I really do think that with my work when it comes to Haitian music and Haitian culture has been all about uplifting as many artists as possible. The Black Party that I worked on has had over 70 artists from the country. We've been able to build up to shows now that are massive, like we did Central Park last year, I'm in Prosper Park, I played in uh, some of the biggest venues all around the US and I think that that to me was one way to give back. And I, I do think with the music side, that's another way. And I'm still very involved with philanthropy in the country. I work with school projects and, and uh, housing projects and anything that I can possibly help with on, on a, not just in an artist, artistic sense, but also with like my platform. So I, I, I think it's a lifelong mission. I'm gonna continue to do that. And I, I also hope with uh, what I can do in Guyana with the art, art side is really exciting because I've learned so much with, with my passion for Haiti. And um, it's really passion for the immigrant community around the world. Like, I, I feel like I've been an immigrant my whole life growing up in Haiti, being from these two different places. And, uh, and I wanna see more of those stories. <laughs>